Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Cash Gamer and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about SMGs. Now, I like hated the medic class when I first got Battlefield 5. I hated playing it, I just didn't want to play it, you know? I, 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 it was not fun, you know? And the SMGs were hard to use, like an LMG was better than an SMG in every way. It just wasn't fun. So, you know, I got better with medics, kinda. I found some guns that I kinda liked, then they buffed SMGs, and now, SMGs are what they should be. SMGs, they're very, very good at close to sometimes medium range, and they're very good at just popping off a bunch of rounds really fast, very mobile, and, you know, it's perfect as a medic because you have to run up to where dead bodies are and revive them, and sometimes, I know for me, I will kill someone and push up, so then it kind of puts you in that position to push up and kill them with the SMGs. And I just, it's very strange for me, over the course of Battlefield 5, especially when everyone started figuring out the metas for things, I noticed, slowly but surely, more and more, that SMGs were very viable. And it was really, really weird, because um, I remember in a game like, in games like Call of Duty, right? SMGs in Call of Duty were like king. They were just like, like think of like Modern Warfare 3, 2, and 1. The UMP-45, right? The UMP was like the SMG. Or a gun like the Vector, right? The Vector, one of the SMGs. World War II games, the MP-40, the Thompson, right? Then you look at Battlefield, the assault rifles were kind of there, but if you were close range, man, SMGs. You could just destroy someone. And it took a little bit of getting used to in Battlefield 5. I think SMGs got the treatment of getting really nerfed. Because I also remember them in Battlefield 1 being, I mean, they were okay weapons. But then they got, a, they seemed to change a little bit, and they're a little bit better now. Battlefield 5, same thing. SMGs were definitely not what I expected. Like, I didn't expect the MP40 to be a bad SMG, but to me, it's a bad SMG. You know? It's kind of strange, but it's the way it is, you know? It's the way it is sometimes. I don't like the MP40 in Battlefield 5. And I expected to like it, you know? The Thompson, I like the Thompson in Battlefield 5. But I just noticed that SMGs are not bad anymore. You know? They're definitely not the best. Right? They're not... Like, I will take a Lewis gun over any SMG on Battlefield 5, even for some of the closer range game modes, because it's just that type of game. You know, and I really like the Lewis gun too. The Lewis gun's very fun to use. But, maybe some of the assault rifles, some of the LMGs, I would just prefer an SMG over some of those guns. And I think it's good that the SMGs are really starting to bump up, really starting to be those guns that you can use, and if you want to play close range with a machine gun, you can do that, you know? I don't like it when there's video games where, like, there's a type of gun that you just can't use. That's how Battlefield 1 felt with shotguns. Like, using a shotgun was pointless in Battlefield 1 because there was just so many better options. Like, SMGs are better than shotguns in every way, you know? So I'm glad that SMGs are finally buffed up. You can't just not... You know, it's not like... If you use an SMG, you're putting your team as a disadvantage. It's not like that anymore. It's really nice. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below, guys. Have you touched SMGs at all in Battlefield 5? Did you touch them once and didn't like them? Do you only use SMGs? I know for a while I only used the Medic class, trying to get a Thompson Gold. And I think I have like three level 10 SMGs now, which I think is the most level 10 weapons I have in a class. So that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna make more Battlefield 5 videos. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of stream, blog, or Instagram post of whatever I said to make.